A chair appeared in the kitchen. The chair has two legs. I'm sure of it. It has to. I count them several times a day. One, two, and it ends there. There are two legs on this chair. Two. I'm sure. Yet, yeah, how can there be two legs? How would a chair stand on two legs? How does it work? One leg on each of the back corners, yet it still stands. How are there two legs? How? Well, there is. I count them again. One. Two. I'm not sure when it first appeared, but it's been in the kitchen for weeks now. I don't dare sit in it. I'm not sure how it would hold me. I don't want to end up like the cat. I found the cat one day, dead, its body twisted and broken, under the chair. It looked like it had been crushed, its fur matted with blood. I wanted to move the chair to see if there was anything I could do, but I do not want to touch this thing. The chair is alive, I'm sure of it. I sound crazy, I know I do, but it's waiting for me to sit in it, so it can kill me like it's killed the cat. But I'm not going to give it the satisfaction. I'll never sit in that chair. Two days ago, two agents knocked on my door. They were investigating something. Why well, wouldn't tell me what? They wouldn't even show me their badges. How was I meant to know who they were? I turned them away, and they came in anyway. As soon as they saw the chair, one of them called someone and the other spoke to me. He told me they were going to sort everything out and that I shouldn't panic. I could hear the man on the phone, briefly. He mentioned something about dimensions. A scream came from my kitchen, followed by the sound of liquid spilling. We ran in and on the floor under the chair was a puddle of blood and remnants of human organs. A hand was left on the floor. It's etched into my brain I can never unsee it. The chair has two legs. I counted them. One, two. The other agent knelt down to get a closer look. He seemed unfazed. He accidentally touched the chair slightly. It had two legs, then one, then zero. I'm not talking about the chair anymore. The man began to disappear in front of me. His body contorting and morphing as blood and organs spilled from him. By the time it was over, much of what had fallen out of him had also disappeared. For a brief moment in the chaos, a brief moment, I counted three legs on the chair. That changed, I don't know why because I have counted the legs every moment since, and it's only ever had two. One, two, two legs, only two. Why were there three? There was not the same as two. Three and two are very different, I do not understand. It's only a difference of one, but it's also a difference of everything. How were there three? I woke up this morning and one of the men's heads had appeared on the floor, along with his phone the man was using. I picked up the phone and it still worked. It was covered in blood. The chair still had two legs. I called the most recent caller. Someone answered. They thought my name was Jason. My name is not Jason. Jason, they said. I didn't pay much attention as I decided to count the legs of the chair again. Jason? Was it the chair? Where have you been? The chair still had two legs, but not the same two legs. It was both of the back ones, but now it was... One at the back and the opposite front leg. Jason, hello. The readings say the chair is still moving through the fourth dimension. We need to find it. Did you find it? My chair has two legs. And it's driving me insane.